Knowing the color of the spores of a mushroom is often very useful in identifying that mushroom. We don't often see the color of the spores uh, in nature. Uh, sometimes it'll happen if there's a cluster of mushrooms, a mushroom on top will deposit an accumulation of spores on the cap below and you can see the color there. Uh, but normally we would just uh, take a mushroom cap home and uh, put it on a tray and cover it for 24 hours and get a mushroom spore print that way. Uh, but there is another method to see the spore color of a mushroom. So sometimes I'll cover a mushroom with a bucket or another container. Uh, particularly if I'm uh, taking a time-lapse video or I uh, just want to preserve it for the next day and don't want the creatures of the night to devour it or cover it. But it also turns out to be a great way to get a look at the spores. Oh, my bucket's going all the way down the hill. That's bad. Ah, I'm not too far. Here's a uh, Orangia bicolor, two-color bull eat. Got cooked a little bit in the bucket. They usually don't get this brown. Yeah, but you can see all those olive-colored spores there. So if you don't want to go through the rigmarole of uh, cutting off the mushroom cap and taking it home uh, to your specially prepared spore print tray and cover, you can just cover it in situ uh, with a bucket or a smaller uh, container, depending on the size of the mushroom, but it works pretty well. It won't work with every mushroom, but it is another mushroom identification tool you can put in your mushroom identification toolkit.